hi guys in this video i'm going to show you guys how to create this animating card sections in your figma web design i'm sure you guys must have seen web interactions like this where you have a card section now once you hover on it you have more information um slide in for that card section it can slide in from different angles so i try to prototype all the possibilities for you guys so please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you find this video helpful so i have an empty design file here and i'm going to click on the frames and throw in a desktop frame where we'll be using to create our designs once i've done that the first thing i'm going to do is to just quickly rename the um, desktop frame no particular reason um just a regular convention and after doing that i'm going to paste in the images we are going to be using for the section um, which is these three images here um so the first thing we want to do is to create the card section for the first card then we are going to use that same um design to create the second and the third one so uh, i'm just going to make sure they are all the same height and width so the first thing i'm going to do is select this first image i'm going to right click on it and click on frame selection once i do that we should have a frame with the image in it i'm going to round up the corners of the frame a little bit and i'm going to select it and click on this clip contents that you see right here so that it um, hides all the contents that overflows in it the next thing i'm going to do is to paste in the title that i'm going to be using for the card section um, i'm going to increase the size the font size of the title a little bit so it's more obvious um what i want to do here is to create like a gradient effect at the bottom of this card so that um it makes the title a lot more visible i'm just going to draw a rectangle i'm going to make sure the rectangle is the same width as the box i'm going to give it a solid color of black and switch it to linear so on this linear i want the gradient effect to be inverted so i'm going to switch the um opacity of the linear curves and i'm going to just shock this or put this rectangle just at the bottom of the frame I'm going to make sure it's in the frame so i'm going to go to the layers and move the rectangle inside the frame we just created um i'm also going to make sure the rectangle is below the text right and i'm going to rename the image to image one so i'm going to put the rectangle just below and i'm going to change the view of the text to white I'm also going to increase the size of this so that it just covers the entire position properly and i'm going to i'm going to also reduce the opacity of um this whole gradient section here just to tune down the strong black a little bit okay now i think i i have what i want i think this is okay this is fine just for this particular um, design example and once i'm done with this i'm going to select this frame and i'm quickly going to rename it because we're going to be having three different frames and i want to be able to distinguish between all three of them so i'm just going to name this um first card and i'm going to select it and move it out of the desktop frame we created so that i have enough space to create the um, other parts of this frame now we're going to be creating the additional section that slides in so i'm going to draw a rectangle just by the side i'm going to make sure this rectangle is exactly the same height and width as the frame that we have for that section um because it's just going to basically move in and i want it to retain the exact same sizing so i'm going to give it a particular color um which is this green color i'm just going to go ahead to paste in the hex code for the green and this is it so what we want to have is the details on this particular box here um so that it all comes in so i'm just going to paste in the details that is going to be there which is probably going to be um, unique um, depending on what you're trying to achieve um so once you have all your details and your background as the card section here you just want to group the whole the entire thing together right so this entire group is what slides in once you hover on this card section so i'm just going to put the card inside the frame um just so that we have something like this so this is what it's going to look like on hover right the card will just um cover the entire frame so now i'm going to create two more duplicates of this because i want to use it to represent the next um two cards we are going to be creating 
um i'm going to go ahead to rename them the second one is going to be second card and the third one is going to be third card um just like that and yes we're going to go ahead to also change the informations on them so that um we can know the difference while we are prototyping so for this second card what i want to do is i'm going to select it um and i'm going to use this eye icon here to turn off the visibility of this group the green background group with the details that we added so i'm going to select the image and cut the second image that we need then i'm going to select i'm going to come back to this second card and i'm going to select the frame and select the image in it I'm then going to right click and click paste to replace to replace the image that we had in that section the next thing i'm going to do is also to replace the text because i want all the text to be um unique and different from each other i'm then going to go back turn on the visibility of the group icon and also replace the text that is the content of the um description of the cards itself so um this content just like i've said is going to be unique for everybody like depending on what you're trying to achieve um, you also want to change the description of the text in the body and stuff like that or um, whatever suits your design and for this third one i'm just going to do exactly the same thing i'm going to select it i'm going to turn off the visibility of this group item um i'm going to select the image i'm going to cut the image we need for the third card um i'm going to select the image in this third section and I'm going to paste to replace, just to replace it with the actual image we need. I'm also going to make a change to the title of the card. Um, I'm going to select this card title and paste in the card title that I need for the third card. Right. I'm just going to properly position it. Um, turn off the visibility of the group item that uh, we need for the description so that we can also update the contents there. I'm going to change the title of this um description section and i'm also going to quickly make um small changes to the description um so once we are done with all of this we can then start prototyping the effects um and the interaction on this particular card section um i think i'm done so we now have our three card designs um the next thing we want to do from here is to make these cards individual components right so I'm going to select the very first card and I'm going to make it a component by clicking that component button. I'm going to do the same thing for the second and the third card. Now we have three components on our artboard. Um, so for this first one, I'm going to create a variant. So I'm going to add a variance to the component. I'm going to create a variant and I want to show you guys um, something. So I'm just going to quickly um, increase the size of this component because um, the... The effect might create an overflow and i want to show you guys what that would look like right so i'm going to just increase the size and i'm going to push the second variant below this so what we want to do is we want to create a default state the second variant is what we will get on our own hover state so we want to create a default state on this by moving this description section out of the way so while you can move it out of the frame manually i like to use the y axis or the x axis to do this so i'm just going to click the exact height of the frame on the y-axis so it just moves it below the frame right so you can't see it this is because the frame um is on clip contents which means all contents overflow i'm going to switch to the prototype section and i'm going to connect the wires from the first variant to the second variant it's going to be while hovering and it's going to be smart animate i'm going to set the smart animate to um something like 500 millisecond um i, I think that should be enough then I'm going to do this same prototyping effect for the second one. But this time I won't be expanding the frame because I've already shown you guys what I want to show you. So I'm going to click on the group inside this section for the default variance. And I'm going to use the X axis this time to move it. So I'm going to use the X axis and I'm going to type in the exact width of that card. Okay, I want to move it to the left so that it slides in from the left to the right. So I'm going to use a minus of that width so it moves it to the left. Um, now you can see that the um, the frame this the group is on the left hand side so once we prototype to this second variant it moves in from the left um, i'm going to click on prototype and i'm going to switch it down to the second variant it's going to be 
while hovering and it's going to be a smart animate of the same time that we are using so we are done for the second card and i'm going to do the same thing for the third card you will make sure your clip content is checked um so that your contents are actually hidden so i'm going to do the same thing for the third card i'm going to create a variance i'm going to select the group from the default variance this time i want to move this one up so that it slides in from up to down um if you're creating your designs you might want to leave it um, to be consistent if you're using the up everything should come from up if you're using from side um except you want to prototype it on how the mouse enters the card but basically you just want to be consistent so i'm going to do the same thing here the same while hovering prototype to the second variant and i'm going to leave the smart animate so we have these three um components here i'm going to just copy them and paste them on the board right so we have um a sliding effect from up from the side and from um below the card so once you have this i think we are good i'm just going to position them these components on the ad board so that i can prototype it perfectly i'm also going to add the name to the section and i'm going to prototype what we just did so this is it guys this is how you create an animating card section for your web designs um um but as you can see in the preview um i used it in the previous web design we created sometime back and i'm just going to quickly pick this entire section and add it to the web design section we um designed so if you haven't watched the video of how i designed that landing page please you can also do if you're interested um, I'm just going to copy this entire section and I'm going to switch to the web design section. Um, so I basically want to replace it with this card section we have here. So I'm going to select this card section. I don't want to delete it. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to hold Alt to duplicate it. Then I'm going to select it again. Then use paste to replace to replace the entire section with these card sections I just created. So I see that this is looking nice. So I'm just going to play the prototype to show you guys what it looks like. And I'm pretty sure it's going to come out nice, as you can see. Um, once I scroll down, you see our section here. And you can hover on each of them to, create, to get that effect. So guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, um, I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Um, and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Thank you.